Let's go. Go. It goes like this. Don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. You got This one? Mm -hmm. You got your daddy's dance moves. Oh boy. Pump it up! What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show! We're full on dance mode it's at the Goods House. It's gonna be a good day today. Welcome to the show, you little Easter bunny. Show me your pretty dress. Pretty dress matches. Looking great. My pretty meals. They're beautiful today. And it unfortunately matches. And it my pretty mug. matches because my sister's wearing the same dress as me. Yep, hers is blue yes. on top though, isn't it? Of What's course going it on matches. here? Yeah, but I have a long caping on the back. Yes, yeah. it's beautiful. Is this another family heirloom that I didn't know about? Yeah, you know about these. I, I mean... I got those handed these down These are hideous. Them. Are these hideous? She doesn't even know what that means. Are Cutie these? bunny! Cutie, Cutie bunny! Get a little sea salt on top Ask of that. Ask the three-year-old. A little sea salt. Wait. She'll give good you a real answer. thing it's going to taste good. Cutie bunny. Mommy. What? Do you know where we... Um, if I actually I dropped this, it wasn't that. on purpose. I'll get them. I'll get those out for us today. <laughs> Didn't wear your bunny ears. She's upset. Oh. We have bunny ears. Welcome to the show, everyone. Nurse Living Good, Dr. Living Good, and the little one. That's you. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Ireland. Good what are you morning. doing today? Um, what are we up to today? What are we going to do today? Well, uh, we're going to do um, flowers, which is um, um, the, my sister and my brother are in the car going to school. Mm -hmm. So we're True at story. home doing the show. We're at home doing the show. That's what we're doing today. And this what, is it. What are we making them? What are we making today? We're making yummy muffins and flashing that goes on the muffins and smoothie bowl. And we're also making um, the oatmeal and... Oatmeal? Um, but that's not oatmeal. She says it's not oatmeal. You'll, you'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Quick and simple breakfast recipes from The Living Good. If you struggle with breakfast, you need some change up, especially if it's maybe like spring related or Easter, dependent when you're watching this. Any time of the year, these are good, but it's got that theme to it. I see a lot of carrots going on. Must be that time. Well, there's only one reason that there's a lot of carrots. It's springtime and Easter bunnies like carrots. Why? Got it. Easter time, we get Easter eggs. Well, Easter eggs. Coming at you with healthy breakfast. We have one that's just going to eat the breakfast. Are you going to help mommy? That's that one. Yeah. That Maybe. might be me. She might be making. I might be eating. That's because I'm a cutie pie. A oh, cutie pie? You're a cutie pie. You're you a cutie it. pie. You just stand No, there. I'm a pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. You're a pumpkin pie. Well, today we're doing yeah. carrot pie. Strawberry pie. You tried this right. week. I did make a strawberry yeah. pie this week. I didn't know you could make a strawberry. I just didn't believe. I grew up, the only pie I ever ate was strawberry pie. I didn't believe that I could make a strawberry pie without Jello. I am terrified of gelatin up to this point. So I refused to try that because I don't feel like it's simple yet in my life. And so I made a strawberry pie and it was about as simple. Were you here when I was making it? It was simple and fast. Yes. More on that later. Frosting. Oh, I'm gonna get all right. It. Let's get to the food. Frosting for breakfast. See, if you like simple breakfast, you just need to make some frosting. What's out of the it. gates? What are we doing first? Well, do they know about this? That's what I don't know. I so. will take care of that. For okay. Them. Well, the whole. You just go through when the I recipe. think. Well, the, this is why I'm. I'm gonna spill the beans then. Oh, all right. I'm gonna spill the Knock them over. Easter jelly beans, healthy ones. Um, when I think of Easter and spring, I think carrot cake. I think light, I think um, berry, I think salady, I think refreshing. Yes. And so with the yeah. holiday yeah. food guide Easter edition this year, 
Cat's out of the bag. That's where I went. She did it, it again. She did it again. It's that time of year to drop you some new recipes, and you can get them for free today. So she's super simple. Look at these bad boys. So she's eating the frosting to these yes. muffins or these cupcakes. So we got mm -hmm. carrot cake cupcakes. They're muffins. You can take this on the go. This is why I included it with breakfast. Berry, I would not advise eating cupcakes for breakfast, but these ones are healthy enough that you probably actually could. I mean, Can yeah. you tell me what I've got going there? So carrot cake cupcakes um, were super simple. It was basically, you should have everything already in your cupboard if you have most of these type of almond flour, coconut flours, your spices. And then the only outside thing with this one was the shredded carrots. Oh, so you added and in like a, little, coconut. a little eye support. Right. Some On beta purpose, carotene, some vitamin some, A. Like it. Added some eye I mean, support. I'm going through this. So you're, you're talking blackstrap molasses is optional. Optional. You want to sweeten it a little bit. But you're you're in the realm of almond flours and coconut flours. You got some xanthan gum going on that. That helps with that consistency quite a bit. Cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, all excellent herbs. Gonna get a lot of benefits there. The old cinnamon nut, you know, like that. I got the cinnamon sitting in front of me right now. So there's cinnamon That's in these. That's your final product. Love the difference between good healthy cinnamon and unhealthy. It's really good for blood pressure. It's really good for weight loss, actually, and it helps enhance and lower blood sugar levels. And then one of the types, the casea type, has a lot of coumadin in it, which will help thin coumadin. the blood. Coumadin. Did that come out funny? Natural coumadin. The Ceylon you can use uh, can it has equal benefits, but doesn't have the blood thinning effect. But the crazy part, this is what I want to say. On the side of it, I'm, I just picked it up this morning and it was like not treated with irradiation, which I, they irradiate spices quite a bit. That's why you get them organic. But then it goes on and says ethylene oxide or propylene oxide. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like a normal, it's normally. I knew the irradiation occurred, but I wasn't like, it just caught me quick. So I went and did what I always do for you. These are antimicrobial pesticides mm. that they put in all of your spices. So getting organic spices matters. It matters. And they won't put them on the ingredient list. You're not going to see no, those listed. They don't have to. Right. But they put it in there so there's no microbes that grow in your garlic that sits in your pantry for a year. Right. I get it, but every form of those are toxic. Like hands down, they admit it. Like there's no safe form of this stuff, but they can put it in there. Food industry at its finest. Enjoy the benefits of cinnamon, not There's the benefits of antimicrobial toxins. And there are a lot of um, food items that can do that. Like anything can not add. They don't have to add the anti-caking agents to their ingredient list always. They don't, they don't have to add antimicrobial agents always. But that is why you have to know what to eat organic, what to buy, shred your own cheese type of ingredients. Now, we don't do it all the time, but if we know a spice needs to be non-irradiated or whatever it's called, non-irradiated. Mm -hmm. Like I know Trader Joe's, all of their spices are clean as can be. Yep. yep. Um, organic, otherwise organic, you're gonna have organic. to buy organic. So talk to me about this frosting that this little one back here is doing a great job on. You are What's it made fantastic. out of? The or frosting is going to be um, not as clean if you're trying to avoid all things. Meaning dairy, is it's, that what you're talking so about? So it's cream cheese, it's butter, vanilla, and um, powdered. No, I got no problem. I'll go to bat for butter. I'll go to bat for you, butter. Real butter, not mm -hmm. margarine. Yeah, no. Can't believe it's not butter? Yeah, I can't believe it's not butter. It's not. It's not. It's definitely not. It's not even food. I can't believe it's this not. is actually beautiful. food. That's right. I'm going to relabel that. What? Can't believe it's not butter. Can't believe it's called food. <laughs> so, those hydrogenated oils. I'd rather have those the real Those are beautiful. Stuff. If you have dairy sensitivities, though, you're saying Great back work. off. Wow, you did those? I did one, mommy did one. Did you eat any? She ate yeah. some this morning, didn't she? Did you eat any of the frosting? Uh-huh. Or did you spread it on the cupcake? I spread it on the cupcake and ate some. No, you did eat some. We're supposed to be, we're supposed to be making the food, not eating it. Oh, I yeah. like eating. Oh, I bet you like eating frosting. I like it when you lick it and you put it back in the bowl. That's Healthier version of the <laughs> frosting. Well done. Good job. Sis. Living good girls. What else do you want to make next? Shredded carrots in there. Little bonus, little Easter egg. Shredded coconut. But you can take those with you throughout the day. And you could be on the go, no problem. 
Don't and you got a lot of nutrients, especially with the nutmeg. The ginger is going to be another good blood sugar supporter. I'm just looking at the list of foods here. You got healthy fats. You threw some carrots. You got a vegetable in your cupcake. When does that ever happen? Yes, that recipe is in the Easter guide. It's now out. She did it again. Thank you, Nurse Living Good. What's next? Next, Let's we're go. gonna make a raspberry. Again, I think like fruity and refreshing. So I made a Spring raspberry time. cherry smoothie bowl for this guide. Ooh, smoothie bowls. Y'all gotta get it. If into you're gonna eat a, a heavy Easter dinner, your breakfast is going to have to be light, right? All right, so this is literally blending up fruit to a little bit thicker than smoothie consistency approximately, and then literally dumping it into a bowl. And then we're gonna put the toppings on, and that's what I want to start discussing. Well, you're looking for these, okay. Okay, we're So the going? first thing we did was put a handful of spinach in. So get some veggies in there, Perfect. right? Perfect. You could that's go good. kale if you wanted Not a little bit much. there, or pick the green that jives the best with you and your health and your likes and your taste buds. We got a little Not bit of coconut much. oil for- Coconut milk. Coconut milk, you can excuse put me. Coconut oil in as well. Coconut milk for some healthy fats. We're going a for a little organic almond milk. The almond milk, um, you really have to be careful before, but it's a kind of a if tricky industry as well. There aren't really many almonds in most almond milks, especially if you're gonna get the big containers. Okay. And uh, so there's a lot of fillers and gums in them and natural flavoring often. So you really, really have to watch your ingredient list for your almond milk. So, and yep. you have to also watch for backwash in our house. One of the better ones we found, we're literally looking at Filtered water, organic almonds, Should Himalayan pink sea salt. salt. Nice. You can touch them and eat them. So that one is called Mulk. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Almond milk, Mulk. What do you want to? It's as good as it gets on the Living a Daily Show. You want the uh, USDA organic, unsweetened, Sally. You already got enough okay. sugar in your life. Grab the unsweetened one. All right, now what are we doing? What's uh, next? So then you're going to do your berries. So this recipe is ras organic raspberries. I like to buy the raspberry, or I like to buy any berries organic. Uh, strawberries and cherries. Now normally I would have acerola cherry. They make these cute little packs from Trader Joe's. Acerola cherry is phenomenal um, for nutrients. So I like to throw a half a pack or a full pack in, but I didn't have them this time. So I'm just full out going. 50 100 times more vitamin C in those suckers than, than any, like an like orange. An orange. 50 Great. to 100 so, times. Now, regular cherries are going to bring a little bit more sugar, but if it's going to the kiddos, not as big a deal usually, or if you are in shape and hitting goals, then this is a good option, or just leave the cherries out. You can do whatever you want. You could, you could replace them with blueberries. You could get crazy and go blackberries, whatever you want. Just That's right. For today's sake, I was stuck, stuck with the red thing. All right, we went red today, got red. it. Where are we going next? It's um, you're blending that thing? Then I put in here, for our family, that's all the recipe says, basically collagen and some vanilla extract if you don't use the collagen. Um, I do chia seeds, flax seeds. I need the collagen. Collagen, I do need a collagen. Um, I, gotcha. I throw anything in I can to trick those kids. Sometimes I'll throw I gotcha. a made my own. frozen avocado chunks, whatnot. Made my own. <laughs> Whipped this up for you Thank over you. the last two years. I also often will add a... Uh, well, I'm going to warm up my spank. How many? Uh, one is fine. I also use berry greens powder often as well, but... You want some of that too? I made some of that as well. I mean, hang on, I made this. Especially if you don't want to sneak in the greens. Hang on, I prepped this. So, vanilla collagen's got a full multivitamin in it. It's got glucoman to lower blood sugar. It's yummy? got milk thistle to detox your liver. And now we're going to dump in 50 extra vegetables and fruits. Just because I added the real greens today too. 50 nutrients in there. Both sweetened with monk fruit, so that's going to give it a little bit of taste, a little bit of flavor for you. Oh, forgot. She used a different finger. <laughs> Apparently the kids like this stuff. Oh, here's some washed coffee. Why? <laughs> okay. Why? Because you have all of your hands. Take it away, gals. All right, I'm going blending. Can you finish snacking? You're very helpful. Yes. I'm going blending. I'm just the assistant here. No, not you. Sorry. Oh, got it. Never mind. A little water. So, what'd you say? So, got it. Never mind. All right, this one's in here. Talk it up. That's what we're blending up right now. Doesn't that look delicious? It's going to pop out like that. So, while she's doing that, let me 
throw an extra in. There's the strawberry pie. Look at that thing. That was actually the countertop picture a couple of days ago. Super easy to make. Delicious, fresh strawberries. The key, xanthan gum. Xanthan gum replaced that uh, gooiness you need so you can say no to J-E-L-L-O. Okay. Got it. It's a little runny mostly because those berries were not completely frozen because they've been sitting out, but now, that's okay. Now, this is what I wanted to get to. If you struggle getting nutrients in in the morning for breakfast, Keep in mind, you could do this for lunch, easy. Dinner in our house, two days, three days a week for the kiddos is this. So this is not exclusive to breakfast. However, your toppings is where you're going to get massive, massive benefits. So we've already got good fats. We've got a good dose of greens in there. We've got extra vitamin C. Jolly, fa la 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 la. This can be done in any season. This can be done any season. Same reason. We are still in Christmas in our brain. It's the same person we celebrate. All right, coconut flakes. Yes, healthy fats going on the top. Love that. We got raspberries. We're adding in some extra nutrients there. You could pick any of your favorite fruits on top. The lower the sugar, the better you're going to be to set yourself up to be in fat burning mode. Okay, now what do we got? Eat some too. What sometimes we put there? some on, sometimes chia seeds. Oh, the chia seeds. Now this is a huge one. Chia seeds. Gonna make you feel more full, so, <coughs> excuse me, so you don't eat as much. They do expand as they get in your... Once they're in your system, they expand a bit, so you feel more full oh, with them. More seeds? They improve insulin sensitivity, okay? Really good source of ALA, which is gonna be the plant form of omega-3s. Not quite as good as removing inflammation as the as the fish form, it's still real good. Oh, That's going to lower your heart disease risk. So if you are a heart disease sufferer or struggle with it, go for the chia seeds. If you struggle with osteoporosis or osteopenia, these help provide bone strengthening minerals like phosphorus, magnesium. So you need to get those in there. So this is a great source of them. Plus it's full of a bunch of antioxidants. So chia seeds, super good. You could also go for flax seeds, which are we doing flax today? You know, I did it. I was going to add it into the bowl over it's there. It's okay. So you, and you can actually, you can blend these in a coffee grinder and make a powder out of it. That could be sprinkled on a cereal. That could be sprinkled on top of a smoothie bowl, whatever, you know, anything that you're eating to get some extra nutrients in. You're always thinking, how do I get these nutrients in? They're really high in those essential fatty acids. They have lignans and those are, uh, that make them uh, phytoestrogens. So women, if you struggle with menopause, that might be a good option to kind of balance some of the symptoms you might be dealing with during that period of time. For the rest of us, they reduce heart disease risk, uh, they aid in weight loss, they reduce blood sugar up to 19%. Flax seeds. What's your favorite diabetic? You better be eating some flaxseed or flaxseed powder you can put on top of this. And it reduces- like meal, like no, flax seeds. Yeah, so don't I don't we don't buy the meal because you've already released all the nutrients, and then it goes and sits on the shelf for three months, and then you buy it. So that's why she's like, well, what's the difference? I'm like, because it's like releasing the nutrients of it, keep them in their whole form, and then blend them and grind them if you want, or put the whole seed on. The only part about that is they get stuck in your teeth and stuff like that. So gotta be watching out. She for did it. a beautiful job making this look perfectly even. Great job, sis. Great job, Ireland. Cholesterol sufferers. This is the meal. Instead of your oatmeal, oatmeal. LDL particle sizes go down with flax seeds. So you can put this stuff on there. There's a 10 point drop in blood pressure for people that are eating large amounts of flax seeds each day. That's so good. Can you the, take the rest of the show? I'm gonna go eat. Flax seeds prevent diarrhea and constipation. What? That's How does it? Flax seeds like, I got this covered. I discovered digestion, yes. Crazy, so put them in. Now we got berries. Uh, you went with a little bit of granola on top of there. I did. Can you give us some insight on what that is? Uh, the granola, this one is the Elizabeth's brand, is it Elizabeth, simply yeah, Elizabeth's this is oatmeal. Hold on one second, we're not quite to that one. Um, it I is one. coconut oil and coconut sugar in this one. Mm. There, oftentimes we'll try and do either like, for sure a gluten-free, but sometimes we'll try and do an oat-free where it's mostly just nuts. 
Um, we always for sure make sure there's no bad oil in them and we always make sure there's no refined sugars. You know what's usually an easy route for granola if you want to find with no sugar? Look for one that's like a paleo version or a keto version. Um, I, I always get very careful of that because that does not always mean healthy, but in this case it's normally made with something that will allow but you to get away with it, but you just got to be careful. And then on top it. of that it's going to be the oils because they still have to keep something to keep, the bad oils. To keep, to keep it together. Yep. And then you went with some chocolate. She went with some Lily's chocolate. Some Lily's chocolate chips, they like them. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate mixed with berries. Maybe you are, but not Me so either. much. Can I show this? Mm -hmm. Are you eating right now? Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? It's just really good. There it is. There's your breakfast. Now that could be in a little container you're taking that with. Of course you could drink your smoothie, but it's kind of nice to feel like you're, you're eating something, right? All right. Oh, it used to be like a weekend type of thing for us, but now with the kids, like it, like you said, we eat it a few times a week for dinners, but otherwise a smoothie is usually a grab and go. That is in the brand new Easter guide. Click the link, enter your email. It is yours free because we love you. That same thing would be a smoothie. Yeah, you just make it your consistency you like. All right, this next, next. one's interesting. I thought so too, and I don't really like overnight oats. But I tried this. Can you just try this and tell me if you like it? Well, we gotta be careful of these. If you haven't hit blood sugar levels, uh, diabetic, uh, blood pressure, cholesterol, yes, cholesterol, I know it's oats, but there's a bunch of other foods. I just don't want you to spike in your insulin levels by putting this stuff in, but there's a lot of nutrients in a real whole grain that can be helpful, B vitamins. We got good fiber. There is cholesterol benefits to it. There is um, actually some blood sugar control benefits to it, but I don't like putting carbohydrates in because you've overdone it. So whether it's overdoing it or the right or wrong time, a lot of times also oatmeal just gets a bad rap because you're putting it. The, no, 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 no. We don't talk about food, no. And Encanto got a sponsorship on our show. <laughs> Good. So you always have a tune in your little heart. I like you? the crunch to this. But um, the it's other like reason cereal. that oatmeal got a bad rap is because it became instant. It became microwave. It became put sugar on top. It became really toxic along the way as well. If wow. you get a sprouted whole grain or gluten-free oat and you're not trying to reverse a diabetes type of disease process, you can have a lot of That's oats crazy good. in things and not get too harmed. Who would have thought about carrots in breakfast? Me. I didn't, it was more the concept of How do you do this? Carrot cake. I just tried How long does it take you to make? Five minutes plus sitting overnight to chill. <laughs> now who can do that, right? Is that funny? That's crazy. I'm not being dramatic either. I'm like, that's legit. And then we got yeah, the cinnamon on top, right? We can put, there is ginger in that. A little bit of ginger in there. And then you're topping. Ginger. So what yes. I would do if I was trying to look for a really fast breakfast, I would make a few of these little bowls, put them in the fridge for the few days of the week that you're going to have it. And then your toppings could be things like raisins. I don't love raisins, and a lot of them will have um, oils on them. So you just have to make sure it's a lot of sugar organic. there, too, so be careful. I would avoid those. Coconut flakes. Like, the kids eat raisins. That's the only reason we have them. Yep. And then some nuts on top, or just plain. This is just fantastic plain. What you going to Okay, little one. Do you want to try it? You try like it. trying Try it out. Pecans and bite. walnuts, we're going to be getting good sources of healthy fats. We're going to be getting ginger, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. Ginger helps settle your stomach. It's going to help lower your blood sugar, weight control. It's going to reduce uh, menstrual pain. So if you're dealing with a lot of digestive distress or you're dealing with a lot of female <laughs> hormone problems, then find some ways to get ginger in food. Here you go. You got it for breakfast. Cinnamon, we talked this a lot about that already. never had oatmeal in her life. <laughs> So, I don't like what we're calling oatmeal, overnight oats. It's, it's overnight still oats, a big difference, but she's right? never had oats. any kind of oats. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe so in a cookie? So, it's got to be organic, gluten free. I would say there's too many pesticides that come with it, too many, uh, too many chemicals that come with normal grains and gluten that come with it. So, make sure they're whole grain if you're going to make that one. But that might be a great option. I think the more insulin friendly one is the smoothie bowl, followed then by the overnight oats, and then finally the cupcake. Just because it's a mental game of eating a cupcake, we don't want you to get in that big of a habit. However, that's your good option. But can you imagine if you were going to like a little Easter brunch and they had carrot cake overnight oats? I can imagine. Like, that's so unique, and you would never want to like think of making Especially that, but I feel cups. like it would be a really good. If, we always say that. Like, if we went out and we were at a restaurant and we ordered this, if we would I be saw like, 
If I saw a carrot cake overnight oats on the menu, you would order it even though you don't eat oatmeal. (laughs) Right, or the thing is like smoothie bowl with healthy collagen. And like we would go nuts. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes at home, that's how you got to start thinking about it. It's like if you went out, some of you complain about, or it's a struggle, I'm trying to eat out and I can't, you should check out Mrs. Living Goods restaurant alternative guide. It's in the Living Good Daily Lifestyle members area. That's fun. And lemon bars. That, don't show all these. Well, I want to go over this next week too. I want to cook well, some I'm more recipes. Well, I'm not making all of them next no, week. No, 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 no. We don't make them all. But sometimes we are complaining about, I don't know what to make or what to do, but if you went out to eat and ordered this from someone else, you would actually be like, wow, that was really good. And I'm like, compliment the chef. You, that's you. So give yourself some more credit. Crush it again. And it's simple. I got some breakfasty. I think I'm going to eat those overnight oats. Are you? I mean, I just They're good. They're really I good. I don't normally eat breakfast, but it's sucking me in. I'm going to eat that bowl. What do you mean? Frosting? Frosting? Granola? Pecans? Pecans? <laughs> oh, man. Speaking of Bruno, we don't talk about Bruno. Spe- speaking no, speaking no, of. No. Speaking of Bruno, because we were talking about Bruno. Because. We don't talk about us. No, 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 no. So, all of this is in the brand new Holiday Food Guide. It's an Easter edition. You can click on the link and download this right now. You will get early bird access to the Easter event. You will get this guide downloaded, which there's 18 or 19 recipes. I think she counted 19. 19 recipes that you put together. Thank you so much for those. Team did a great job of making it, bringing it all together as well. And then, there's also a brand new supplement coming. Oh. We don't talk about the new supplement. We don't talk no, about no, no, no. So it's coming, and it's gonna be released. Do you know what the new supplement daddy made is? Early bird. Yeah. I don't know either. So, it's coming. They've all tried it. They love it. I think you will too. More to come on that. So, thank you for the Easter she edition don't. recipe. You're welcome. Anything else you need to add? Oh. And now Alexis playing We Don't Talk About Bruno. Uh, so I hope yours did not just oh play that. Oh my gosh. So. <laughs> yeah, new recipes. Dive into them. Let us know what you think. It would be awesome if you snapped a picture and tagged the beautiful. There's a lot of people making that. Living good, just those living pizzas. Good. Yeah, the pizza, the healthiest pizza in the world. If you want to go back on the page here uh, last week, you can check that out. Uh, and you can try that out. That's a little too loud, sister. Would, would you like to say goodbye to everyone? <laughs> goodbye. Okay. Say, have a great day. Have a great day. Happy weekend. Happy Whatever. weekend. Okay, can you go tell Alexa to pause for a minute, please? Pause. We're going to say goodbye first, and then we can play a really loud. Okay. Okay. Enjoy those. Exciting stuff coming up. Easter event, the new guide, and brand new supplements coming. So more on that soon. We'll be back next week for some more delicious recipes to make your life just a little easier, a little more simple. That's right. Go make it a great day, guys. Might as well. Not getting this one back. Never going to get it back.